smile all the time. See him stand on the corner. Y'all look like, just relax, enjoy yourself, have fun. They call me the comedy counselor. The uh, reason why they call me that because I'm dedicated to eradicating stress in the 90s. So I want you to just take a deep breath. <sighs> relax, enjoy yourself, especially the brothers. I'm worried about the guys. You know, we got a problem in this country. Women outlive us eight to one. Men are dying like dogs. You go to old folks' home, you see eight old women, one man. And they're all chasing him. He's mine. Come here! Come! Because men don't breathe. We get pissed off, we stop breathing. Women know that look we get. See, women, you, you see guys ready to fight? <laughs> <laughs> women breathe when they're mad. Even when they're angry, they breathe. Constantly sucking their ass. <laughs> Men just don't breathe. We get upset, that's it. Car no. <laughs> Taxes. <laughs> no sex. <laughs> we have no sex, we can't breathe at all. <laughs> just a nipple. <laughs> You know, women don't take you serious. Stop it, you're acting stupid. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't hit me, that's okay. That's okay, you may well come on up with you later, my man. Have fun with them. They gonna get the money anyway, you know they don't. They going to get the cash, trust me. You may well bring on up, spend the cash. But you know what happens, you stop breathing, don't you? Lay down the casket, all dressed up, no way to go. You know how the guys gonna do it, right? You lay out there all dressed up, all the boys walk up and go, oh man, I'm sure I'm gonna miss that brother, I swear to God. Is that his old lady over there? Let me express my condolences. Because <laughs> when you're gone, you're gone. Yes, they will have fun. Have a drink, buy your lady a drink. I know some of y'all got one drink and three straws over there. Sucking off. <laughs> I know you ladies will know where the bathroom is, so it's right out in the hallway. And, and, and one thing about females, I know it's good. One of y'all's bladder fill up, the whole table's bladder fill up. <laughs> we have to go to the bathroom. Guys can't do that. A guy can't say, excuse me, but me and Chuck's going to the restaurant. Not only will your lady look at you funny, Chuck's going to tell you too. <laughs> I ain't going, bro. Now don't touch me. Now don't get you. Now don't mess around. That's okay. Relax. Have fun. You look good too. And, and, and don't, don't worry about getting uh, drunk. You got a designated driver, you can hang in there all night long. No. And that's not an easy job neither, being a designated driver. Now. Take home drunk people in your car. You know, took home somebody drunk in your car and you get about halfway to the house and they get that look on their face like they're about to up chuck in your car. You say, no, not my car, man. Trying to push the head out the window, so you know, forget to roll the window down, smash the head against the window. You gotta do that, because I'm telling you, state troopers. I went through radar today. I hit radar. I went through doing 80, you know. I went and shot right past the state trooper. I tried to stomp on brakes and be cool as went by the guy, but it's hard being cool when you're going sideways. <laughs> I'm flying, I'm flying. Big old state man. Put that big hat on his head. Push that butt out. Push that butt start moving. Somebody want to tell right now. Knocked on the window. Get out the car. Get out the car. And it wasn't even my car. I didn't know how to operate it. I started pushing buttons. The seat went back. <laughs> when your wiper came on. <laughs> I said, I know I'm going to jail now. The last ticket I got, I went to traffic court. Have you been to traffic court? Judges are powerful folks. I got one ticket. I think I'll go to court, explain it to the judge. I won't have to pay the ticket. Got clean, went to court. Stood around the back of the court. Looked at everybody else like they were criminals. <laughs> Couldn't wait for them to call my case. But then you call your case like this. United States of America versus Andy Evans. <laughs> Damn, everybody pissed off. Man. <laughs> for one ticket. <laughs> I see, I travel a lot. Being a comic, I'm always on the road. 
pick up people walking? You ever picked up a hitchhiker? Somebody you don't know? No. I saw this guy from walking, I gave him a ride. And I was trying to make conversation as we rode down the street. So I said, uh, so where you going there, buddy? Where you been? He said, on a work release program from Northern Prison. <laughs> Say, I went there for killing somebody too. Say, where you going? <laughs> I said, I'm an outpatient, St. Isabel Memorial Hospital. <laughs> I went there for wrecking cars 100 miles an hour. <laughs> I saw he was going out the window. He got out of my car. Yes, he did. I just, I just went back to my class reunion. Man, that was so nice. We jammed. We had all the old music. Then the Temptations, Donna Ross. My son thought that was funny. He said, "I'm old people." <laughs> I said, "What's going to happen when you have your class reunion? These are the rap music. Can you see all these old rappers, bald head, chains on their neck? Get down with old people." <laughs> See, nowadays you go to the dance hall, they got like, I got like 19 turntables. You cannot get off the dance floor. Dance! 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 I came up in the old days when they had a slow record. You remember those had yeah, one fast and one slow? Slow drag? Oh, that's as close as you ever got to a girl at 17 years old, huh? You get that girl that put plant that right foot. Get that hump in your back. That's why brothers got large right thighs. That's why they drag your legs. They pimp hump and slow drag. That's what they And girls could do that. It didn't bother them at all. They'd be drunk. So I'll do it in a minute, baby. So let's see okay? When it's over with this, walk away. Thank you. And we go, but baby, well, no, hey. Because you know, when we're excited, y'all know, y'all can tell. That's, suppose your breast swole when you saw a man there. Guy walked by, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I gotta get a big bra here. Look at that. You got bring your lady out and have fun. The main thing is have fun. You know, enjoy yourself. Just keep reading about it. See, because women, they stay in chess why they live so long. I see them out there running. Stay, and women don't take their running serious. They have fun when they do it. They'll be out there with little matching pants, little matching shoes, little headband on. <laughs> Guys get carried away with it. They got their old high school pants, cut off shirt, not running, not breathing. <laughs> See, women run for a different reason. Y'all worry about your weight. And I don't know why you do. We like you all sizes. Oprah Winfrey started that weight loss mess. Huh? Remember she kept on saying she didn't lose weight, the old man was gonna leave her? Oh, yes. 80 million dollars, he ain't going no damn way. <laughs> you are never too big if you've had 80 million dollars. I'm gonna dance with y'all night long. Come on, y'all. We get a little gut, we proud of it. Hey, how you doing? That baby <laughs> hey, this violent girl over there, she... Y'all should do the same thing, you know? Get a little gut, walk around, look at a man, go, hey, baby, come on over here, come on, get on here. There's more of me, come on, more pleasure, get on here. I try to stay in shape, man. I got, I got friends of mine who run, I got neighbors. They run street races. Guy took me to a marathon one day. 26 mile race. 15,000 people showed up. The gun went off, people got to running by me, wheelchairs got to running by me. 